Behold, the Great Red Spot, a 340-year-long merciless storm wrecking havoc on Jupiter, the solar system's largest planet. After hundreds of years of witnessing it from afar, we now possess the technology to observe the biggest storm in our solar system's history. What is happening with this catastrophic storm? How and when did this devastating storm begin? Join us on a journey of hundreds of millions of miles to the gargantuan Jupiter as we uncover what we know about this gigantic storm. Jupiter, the king of giants. Jupiter, named after the Roman deity, the ruler of the gods, reigns supreme as the largest planet in the entire solar system. This gas giant is undeniably massive, measuring almost 11 times the size of our planet with a ridiculous 87,000 miles, 140,000 kilometers diameter. In fact, the planet is so huge that in 1610, it was discovered using just a tiny telescope by the renowned physicist Galileo Galilei. Galileo also noticed star-like bodies encircling the humongous planet, which became known as Jupiter's four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Its moons are also relatively enormous. In fact, Ganymede, its largest moon, is larger than the planet Mercury. Ganymede is also regarded the largest moon in the solar system, and it is only one of Jupiter's 80 moons. Jupiter's massive size led these moons to spin around it due to the planet's tremendous gravitational pull. But it is not simply its gravitational pull that is incredibly strong. Its magnetic field is likewise extremely intense, over 14 times greater than that of our planet. Jupiter, in addition to being the biggest planet and possessing the largest moon, also boasts the largest ocean in the whole wide solar system. Wondering why there is an ocean on this giant gas planet? Here's why. Jupiter is mostly composed of hydrogen and helium. Deep within its atmosphere, pressure and temperature rise dramatically, compressing hydrogen gas into liquid. This gives Jupiter the biggest ocean in the solar system, an ocean filled with liquid hydrogen instead of water. And do you know what else is huge on this fascinating planet? The Great Red Spot, the solar system's largest and longest running storm. Luckily, a spacecraft has investigated this mysterious planet, unraveling all of the mysteries it has to offer. The mission that brought us closer to Jupiter than ever before. Jupiter is a compelling planet. Hundreds of years after its discovery, we knew little about this gas giant since we could only observe it via our telescopes. All of that changed on February 10, 1979, when the ambitious Voyager 1 spacecraft approached Jupiter's moon system. Only one month after its historic approach to Jupiter's orbit, it revealed that the planet, like Saturn, has a ring surrounding it. Although it is substantially thinner, only around 19 miles, 30 kilometers. The Voyager missions also provided NASA with the clearest image of Jupiter, which is regarded as one of the most notable achievements of the Voyager missions. Almost 40 years later, another probe made history by orbiting the biggest planet in the solar system closer than any spacecraft had done before. Meet Juno, a spacecraft named after a Roman goddess, the feminine counterpart of the god Jupiter. Its primary goal? To unlock every mystery the planet has to offer. One of them is the ginormous storm inside the planet, the Great Red Spot. And Juno did not disappoint as it unraveled new discoveries about the storm that stunned our scientists. Juno's journey began in 2011, traveling around 318 million miles 614 million kilometers, crossing Mars's orbit and the asteroid belt. Following a five-year wait, Juno arrived on July 4, 2016. It settled into a 53-day polar orbit, stretching just above Jupiter's cloud tops to gather data on the planet. One of its major discoveries was that Jupiter's core is not as solid and compact as we assumed. Instead, the core is more like a fuzzy sphere that spans over half of Jupiter's diameter. Juno also made astonishing discoveries of the planet's poles. Surprisingly, the poles are covered with massive cyclones which are collectively wider than the whole United States. The storms didn't seem to be heading anywhere though, as the storm mysteriously stayed put with each of Juno's flybys. On Juno's 22nd orbit around Jupiter, it discovered that a new, smaller cyclone with the size of Texas had emerged to join the cyclone party on Jupiter's poles. These storms are persistent, unlike cyclones here on Earth, which typically linger for just a few days or weeks. 
But unlike the storms that we have seen in our lives, there is one ferocious storm that persisted for almost 400 years, the Great Red Spot. Juno had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to explore this natural anomaly while circling Jupiter. And it, for the first time, revealed startling insights about what is going on inside this enigmatic storm. The storm that lasted for centuries. The Great Red Spot is so massive that it has the ability to swallow our whole planet. In fact, the storm can cover nearly three Earths. That's how vast this monster is. Now the storm is still raging, as fierce as ever. The Great Red Spot is swirling around the planet's southern hemisphere. At the storm's heart, winds are relatively mild, but on its edges, the winds are catastrophic. With speed reaching above 425 miles per hour, 680 kilometers per hour. This is more than twice the speed of even the most deadly and destructive hurricanes the Earth has ever seen. The crimson color of this storm is one of its most striking features. While Jupiter's atmosphere is largely made up of hydrogen and helium, with indications of ammonia, this doesn't explain the color of the storm, which is still a mystery to most of our scientists. Though some experts suggest that cosmic rays impacting the molecules within the area could play a part in its unique shade. NASA's Juno mission discovered surprising information about the spot that shocked our scientists. Juno showed that the depth of this behemoth storm is far deeper than we anticipated, reaching about 310 miles 500 kilometers below Jupiter's clouds. How deep is that? Well, to put it into perspective, Mount Everest, the tallest mountain here on Earth, is just 5.6 miles 9 kilometers tall. That storm is really enormous. Mysteriously, the jet streams, or the fast-flowing, narrow air currents surrounding the Great Red Spot, extend much deeper, nearly 1,900 miles 3, kilometers below Jupiter's cloud surface. What we discovered is that those jet streams are keeping the Great Red Spot alive. The gigantic storm is sandwiched between two jet streams that move in opposite directions, powering the spin of the vortex. All of these findings were discovered by Juno's gravity science instrument, as it measured how impactful the spot is to the Jupiter's gravitational field. Even though this large storm is just a speck on Jupiter, Juno collected enough fluctuations in the planet's gravitational field to determine how immensely deep this storm and its surrounding jet streams extend. Now, how did this colossal storm even start? Scientists are not so sure either, but one of the most plausible hypotheses is that numerous massive storms merged to form one ginormous storm. One thing is for certain though, this storm has been brewing for a long time. When will this storm finally reach its end? The Great Red Spot, like all the storms here on Earth, will inevitably come to an end. It is just a matter of time. When we first ventured to Jupiter with the Voyager spacecraft, the Great Red Spot was swirling around with a 14,500 miles 23,300 kilometers diameter. However, when Juno measured the powerful storm, it shrank substantially, measuring just around 10,000 miles, 16,000 kilometers in diameter. NASA also reported that the storm is diminishing quicker than ever before, at a rate of around 580 miles, 9,000 kilometers every year. NASA anticipates that this rate will rise exponentially over time. They believe this is the result of some unknown activity inside the planet's atmosphere, which absorbs energy and weakens the storm. At this pace, the Great Red Spot might perish as early as 2040, which means that this old storm might come to an end in our lifetime.